it's Anything Girl 74 and today I'm going to be doing a video on basically things to do over Thanksgiving break because I know that a lot of my friends go out of town over break so break can be very boring sometimes and so I just made a list of like I don't know how many things but I just made a list of different things to do um, some of them you can do with like some friends if maybe you have friends available and you're just trying to find something to do and some of these you can also do by yourself. Also, since the holidays are coming upon us, make sure you guys leave me some video requests that you want me to do for Christmas or like winter themed videos or whatever you guys want to see. I would love to do them. And one last thing, I wanted to let you guys know that you will be seeing three videos this week from me. You're going to be seeing this one and you'll be seeing a Get Ready With Me. And I'm going to be vlogging this whole entire week break, so you'll get vlogs at like the end of the week, so be on the lookout for those. It's basically, I am thankful for you guys, and so I want to show you guys that thanks by giving you three videos this week. So, yeah. And I've been talking a lot now, so let's just get into this video. So my first idea is to go on a coffee or lunch date, and you could do this by yourself and just get work done, or you could go with friends and I think that's so fun because especially if you don't see someone that often, it's really nice to just catch up and drink coffee and it's just great. My next idea is to go exploring or go hiking because it's actually really surprising how many trails and hikes there are in your area so you can just search them up on the computer and you can find a bunch and it's just so pretty especially if you love nature. Another thing you can do is read because I actually love reading so much but I never get the time because of schoolwork and everything and since you have a week off you have plenty of time to read some of your favorite books. Okay so this idea is one of my favorites and it's to have a photo shoot. You could do this by yourself and just use like your phone or your tripod or like the timer or you can do it with friends and it's like super fun because you can have other people take pictures for you and I mean who doesn't want a new Instagram picture? I mean come on. Make a Christmas list. I mean, Christmas is coming up and my relatives always ask me for what I want for Christmas, so it's always good to make a list early. I feel like this is kind of another obvious one, but it's to listen to music because you can just sing and have a dance party by yourself because who doesn't love music? Another idea is to experiment with hair and makeup because you could find a really cool new hairstyle or a really cool new makeup look and I always love doing this when I'm bored. Play different outdoor games. I forget how many fun outdoor games that I played as a kid like kick the can and tag and capture the flag and stuff or even just like volleyball or soccer. It's actually really fun. <laughs> oh my. Oh. This is kind of an obvious one, but go shopping. It's so fun and you can get Christmas shopping done. You can go with your friends or by yourself and just like goof around like I did in Forever 21. I was trying on some nice hats. So yeah, and can we take a moment and look at this Gryffindor sweater that I found and I bought it, so yeah. Call a friend or a family member that you haven't talked to in a while. It's actually really nice to catch up with people. This may not be super fun, but you can organize the files on your computer because as boring as it is, it's really nice to clean them out. Write a story. I mean, you can be creative and you'll get to create the plot and the characters and it kills a lot of time. This is also kind of an obvious one, but help cook Thanksgiving dinner when it's Thanksgiving because it's really fun even if you're not good at cooking. And if you're bored like when it's not Thanksgiving, then just like cook or bake something in general because like I said, even if you're not good at it, it's still really fun and it can taste really good. My next idea is to watch movies because you have a lot of time over break and you can just watch TV shows, Netflix, and a bunch of movies and it's great. And along the same lines with movies, play video games, especially if you have a lot of friends over and you can just get really competitive and compete against each other. It is so much fun, actually. 
have a spa day. I mean, what girl doesn't like to just relax? So, I mean, you can do different face masks or paint your nails and just overall relax. This one may also not seem very exciting either, but it's to clean your room. I know that it's not very fun, but you feel so good when your room is really clean. And for some reason, I really like organizing and cleaning your room kills a ton of time. Do DIYs or crafts? I mean, there's so many DIYs I see on YouTube and I never have the time to do them. And since you have a week off, you have plenty of time to be creative and do a bunch of cool room decorations or DIY Christmas gifts. And my last idea is to do random acts of kindness and it doesn't have to be anything big. You can just write little notes and stick it in people's mailboxes or even if it's something as little as like helping your mom do the dishes or something. It is Thanksgiving so you should really give back to the people that you love. So make sure you do something kind this week. So that was it. I hope you guys enjoyed these ideas and stuff and make sure, like I said, to leave your holiday video requests in the down bar and um, follow all my social medias and stuff like that so you can get updates. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!